Well, what's up guys? It's Kyle with Whistle Realty Group and I'm pretty excited for today. We're going to give you guys a little sneak peek behind the new Mast Park. This place is absolutely amazing. It's just had a massive renovation. Tons of fun stuff for the adults, for the kids, for the people with pets. It's going to be amazing. Let's go check it out. All right, I am super excited to get a little sneak peek of the new Mast Park. So let's just take a little leisurely stroll through here. Let's check everything out. I'd love to find out about all the new things that, that everybody here in Santee is going to get to play with. Sounds great, Kyle. Let's go. All right. So what do we got going on over here? There's a basketball court just getting finished up. It was painted yesterday. They'll get new uh, stripes on it uh, the next couple days. All right. And then there's some cool kind of like granite seating areas around it. That's kind of cool. Very cool. It's yeah. a, they're trying to create a little place where people can sit, stay and watch and watch their friends play basketball. Okay. It's, it's lighted it for a, a, at night play too as well. How late will it be lit typically? The park will be open till 10 now with the lighting. The entire trail is also lit so people can have almost a mile loop to walk after dinner in the winter when it's warm out but it's still you know dark. Okay and then we got a pretty sweet pavilion going on over here. There's actually three brand new picnic shelters in the park with tables, grills, uh, ash receptacles, um, great shade in the summertime. We imagine tons of birthday parties out here. Yeah, and is that gonna be like a first come, first serve kind of thing, they or can, is that something they'd reserve through the city? Yeah, they can reserve them through the city at our office. Okay. Or online. Yeah, and so tell and me right about here, this tree over here. This is something kind of cool. So it was really important to us to save all the trees that were here. They're very iconic trees but there was a few that had to come down, so we repurposed them as a nature discovery area for kids to climb on. Yeah, I know my daughter's gonna love playing on those. Yeah, totally. When we get to the slide, I don't know if there's this slide, I'm gonna tease it right now. <laughs> I'm terrified of this slide. I don't know if that's just because I'm older and kids are not gonna be terrified, but you guys are gonna see a pretty crazy slide here in a minute. And so it looks like there's almost like a little natural river that's gonna kind of run through here. Yeah, there was flooding issues in the past at Mass Park, and now with this great new stormwater features, the water will actually flow through the park and on a rainy day it's going to sound, there's going to be babbling brooks running through this park, but it also cleans and treats the water before it goes into the San Diego River. Wow, there's a lot of thought that was put into this. It, uh, the very first meeting held on this park was in, uh, I believe it was August of 2011. We did stakeholder outreach and, and public feedback. So right. it's been a long process. Okay. And then so we got a lot more seating areas and benches for everybody to hang out. And I see there's a lot of seating just in general. I know I've got a three-year-old and when I come to the park, it's nice to be able to sit down and just kind of keep an eye on her, let her do her thing. So there's a lot of seating around, which is really there's nice. There's a lot of seating. And there is a exercise station area over there too. So parents, rather than playing their phone, yeah. could actually exercise while they're watching their kids on the playground. I love it. Well, let's, let's turn our attention to this insane play structure that you guys have put together here. So, Well, the whole playground itself it was important to us to keep the natural feel of the park, which is what people loved about the old Mass Park. And so we really gracefully tucked this playground into this 100-year-old grove of oaks and sycamore trees. Yeah. Uh, but that slide uh, it is a doozy and it's going to be, it's kind of an attraction. We want to have something that draws people to the park, it really activates the space, makes it feel safe. And I think we've accomplished that with the slide. I think you're going to see a lot of social media posts of people coming down this slide. I think we will. And so oh. I know safety is a big thing, right? It, this is something for families. Some people may have had some safety concerns in the past, but I know there was a lot of thought that went into the design of the park to make it as safe as possible. So tell me a little bit about that. So crime prevention through environmental design was one of the core um, things that we w worked on when designing this park. So there's a cul-de-sac now where the sheriff's car can drive in and have sight lines through the entire park. Like I said, we have lighting, we have security cameras. And a big part of it is to activate the space to have a ton of people here in the park so that people feel safe. We have you know, people pushing strollers and riding their bikes and jogging and walking their dogs. And so the more people are, the more uses of the park, the safer it feels. I love it. Yeah, I know committed. we're gonna spend some time here with our family for sure. So, so moving further into the park, we have a whole bunch of other activities as well. We've got cornhole court, we've got- Wait, are a, these permanent? Cornhole? Permanent cornhole. We'll, we'll call them boards, they're made out of concrete, but you got permanent cornhole here. We do, and they're actually putting some Adirondack chairs out here so people can stay out here and socialize too. Again, again, the whole idea is to push more activity and activate the park, deep into the park. This is cool. Now, we're gonna go to this concession stand, but if I heard you correctly earlier, we might be able to have a beer 
at this park. Well, they're not open today, but okay. soon you will be able to get a burger, a beer, and some other, other snacks, and possibly some disc golf discs and uh, accessories for the dog park, maybe dog treats or bones or things like that. Very cool. It could be a kind of multi-purpose concession stand. This is like an entertainment complex. That's the goal. I love it. But so, still keeping the nature theme. Yeah. And, and so there's a disc golf course that kind of weaves throughout the park. So tell me about that. So we did a disc golf uh, course as kind of a trial basis three or four years ago, and it became extremely popular. So we incorporated it into the design of this park. Uh, there's actually two tee boxes. It's a nine hole course. So there's actually two tee boxes for each hole. So you can play it twice and have a different a hole. Yeah, yeah, so you can get a full 18. And so let's talk about, I mean, I see dog parks on top of dog parks on top of dog parks. People all over San Diego County love their dog. Come check it out, Mast Park in Santee.